Hello and welcome back to the Garion Tabletop. I am Garion River and this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I grew up with Yu-Gi-Oh! The original Yu-Gi-Oh! I played sort of on and off, mostly up until about the sort of early to mid GX time, at which point it sort of stopped being cool among my friends and stuff. I've always sort of kept an interest, but I haven't watched the show beyond that point. I was recommended this game as a good uh, sort of way to get back into it, so let's give it a go. Please select one of the following that you feel applies to, to Yu-Gi-Oh. Your default settings for duels may be changed. Have you ever read the original manga or watched the anime? Yes. Have you ever played it? Uh, i played in the past. Do you know about Duel Links? No. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel! Aim to be the world's top duelist. Um, tutorial, sure. I thought that was a duck for a sec, it's a guy in a hat. Um, learn how to summon monsters and use spell cards. I know how to do that. Complete! A valuable gemstone with a mystifying glow. You can use these at the shop to purchase card packs and accessories. Number two. Trap cards and special cards. Um, like ritual stuff? Yeah. Easy. Starting deck. List of obtained cards can be confirmed in the list of structure decks. And goal. Let's apply what we've learned in the last two chapters. 4,000 life points, reduce them to zero. Yeah, alright, let's give this a go. You are going first. Alright. So, I do know how to play. It has been a very long time, but I recognise some of these cards. Uh, specifically Smashing Ground and Dust Tornado. Claim victory, yep, I can do that. Draw. I'm the Vagabond. Dr draw. Dr draw? Maybe I should have learned. I guess I don't draw? Or do you start with four? No, you... Uh, I don't know. Anyway. Dust Tornado to protect against spell and trap. I believe that's what it does. Uh, target one, destroy it. Then you can set one. Oh, that's new. That's a new effect. Well, of these two, this one is a higher attack. Neither of them have any uh, defense. So I will summon, summon that one. And then I'll play the... Um, you can set a field spell. Yes, anyway, this gives uh, 300 attack during my turns and 300 defense during the opponent's turn. And now... Uh, now I will at attack. Change phase to main. And now I will attack. How do I attack? It's forcing me. It's forcing me to set that. Why would I set that? It's a spell card. Setting it just makes it vulnerable, right? Oh no, I can't attack because it's the first freaking turn of the game. I'm sorry. And now he's getting rid of... Uh, yep, I will activate that because I want to protect my field spell. Get rid of that. What? Why did it get rid of it? Target one, destroy the... T oh. What? Destroy the target. Did that not stop the effect? I'm pissed about that. Tune warrior, sure. Is, what was tune? What was tuna? I don't know. Is it a fish? Sure, let's, 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 let's play a fish. A fish warrior. Uh, and now I will attack. What's this? Special summon? What's going on? Why can I, how can I special summon Defender of the Labyrinth? Link effect. What is going on? Clap. I'm just going to ignore that and go to the battle phase. And now, attack. You see, this should have been a victory for me if for some reason it hadn't... It's cool that the, the cracks appear, that's really cool. If it had had um, stopped that bloody spell card like it was bloody supposed to, I don't know why I destroyed that. 
See, the, the thing with these is, um, what, what the hell's a cybers? Uh, tribute one monster, then target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. Probably going to be that guy, right? Oh, I drew that. Sorry. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll... Uh... Wait, how does that work? Yeah, it's just a trap. So you activate it in response to stuff. All right, summon that. Uh, is it... Sorry, is it my turn? And he chose not to attack. Uh, attack. And then attack. Yeah, there were things that happened in this match that I can't explain. Like, surely using Dust Tornado would stop the effect. Did it need to negate it? And what the hell's a link? A link? A link monster? I don't know. Gate clear! Return to the card void. There are many cards and duelists ready for you to discover. Grab your new deck and venture out into the world. Ooh. So there's the Blue Eyes Dragon deck. There is Synchro, which is something I do not want to touch with a barge pole. And Link, which is something I do not want to touch with a barge pole. So I will go with this one. Power of the Dragon. Uh, it's got a couple of the really cool blue eyes. Two-headed Behemoth. Dark. Kid Modo Dragon. Lord of D. I recognize a lot of these. Yep. Lancer Dragnoot. Axe Dragonoot. And five-headed dragon. Wow. King Dragoon. Ugh. Sure. Whatever. Divine Dragon Ragnarok. Do I have that? Oh yeah, Divine Dragon Ragnarok. Sorry, you give it a name like that and you think it's more powerful, but I do remember that card now, yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. That works for me. I can I know all the cards in that deck and I can use them. Copy to my deck. Uh, please enter a player name. Garen. Yay, I got an achievement. And 8.34 gig of data will be downloaded. What the hell? Why is this going on? Why did I need to play the tutorial and then sit in the app in order to do this? Is this the deck I'm downloading? Weird. Luckily I've got good internet, right? Otherwise this could have taken forever. It's not going to be like 8 gig for just the one deck, right? Can't be. God, imagine if you have to do this like, oh, you get a booster pack. That'll be another half gig you have to download. <laughs> Sorry, I'm browsing videos on my phone because this is taking forever still. Bloody finally. Oh, I hope that was worth it. Well done, you have completed the tutorial. Now download the next deck. Another 8 gig. About the homepage. Uh, dual deck solo shop. Okay, so, um, yep, it's popping stuff up. So I have the starting deck, which includes Link stuff. Dismantle excess cards to get crafting points. Dismantle selected cards. Crafting points are used to generate cards, that makes sense. Like shards in uh, Runeterra. I assume Duel is like online mode, so let's go with Solo. About Solo mode, uncover the hidden stories within the cards and Duel with decks built for drawing out their potential. Dual Restart, Dual Training, Absolute Monarch, and here are the Warriors of the Six Elemental Lords. Oh, God. Dual Training, Summon Special Monsters and Other Useful Techniques for Duels. I'm thinking this might not be the thing that was recommended. I thought this was where you got to, like, play against things from the, the, the shows and stuff, but I think that might have been a different game. Yeah. Uh, the opponent will tribute summon, sure. Not a problem. I do not appear to have my dragon deck. I know what tribute summons are, thank you. Draw phase, standby phase. So I guess you don't draw in the first turn. I guess instead you just get five cards to begin with. Uh, okay. If you control no monster, special summon a level four or lower normal monster from your deck. Yes. That's the one I want. Special summon in attack mode. Because he has enough attack points to 
uh, balance it. I mean, also so does he in my hand, but this way I can have two of them. And this will give me extra attack. And I'll just play it one trap. And then go on the attack mode position. That's So that's, uh, what's that? Increase attack and defense by 300. It's, what, presumably normally 15? Yeah, normally 15. All right, then. Um, attack. Uh, tribute one dragon monster and... Oh, you massive dick. All right. He is now attacking, and I can activate this. Yeah, all right. I think that'll be helpful in this match, because he's it's all about the summoning. Like, he wants to tribute monsters. It's weird that it has a massive thing saying, Turn change! Okay, I really don't have much. All right, let's just play this guy. Bayonetta, or whatever his name is. It is actually Bayonetta. Bayonetta? Bayonet, like a bayonet, whatever. Sure. Just attack directly. First damage we've done. I think it should automatically end if there's nothing more you can do. Also like cycling through the stuff when there's nothing that can happen. Uh, in attack mode. So this is uh, me getting him back as the second part of that trap I used. And he has nothing to do. Uh, skill successor, target a face on monster you control, gaze attack. Uh, okay. I don't know why this field spell is uh, glowing gold. That doesn't seem particularly helpful here, but sermon that. And... Yeah? Oh. It, could I have done something with this? With these synchro... XYZ link. Ugh. I'm just not even bothering, you know? I don't want to learn these new mechanics. It's like I was I was talking to, to people on the Discord and they were like, oh, but you know, they're not difficult to learn. It's like, maybe not, but I I don't I don't care. I don't want to learn them. And it's like I I feel so uh no. I feel so almost petulant for it, but at the same time, like, I grew up with Yu-Gi-Oh! being a certain thing, and I'm just not interested in learning the new stuff. I've won anyway. Yes. Attack. No. No. Is that gonna do it like... Oh my god, yes, it is. No, no. No, no. And victory. No. Yeah, the only attack I took was uh, when I let him attack directly, but he was going to attack directly either way, and this way I got the uh, the thing. Complete. Raigeki. Great. Customize your deck according to your strengths and those of your opponent. It's risky to attack carelessly. This, oppo this deck takes advantage of its high defense. You shield crush or Raigeki earned in the previous chapter to to destroy their monsters. Am I supposed to have edited the deck? Is that what that's telling me? Because I didn't. Why can't I use my dragon deck, you know? I know what monster battle positions are. I used to run, um, my favorite ones were like zombie and warrior decks. To be honest, I've never been a big fan of uh, dragon decks. What's going on? Uh, your opponent gains life points. Wow, what a weird thing to play. Everything is going incredibly quick. I mean, I suppose the point is that there is nothing I can do, but still. All right, let's get Blade Knight. He's one that I remember having. Uh, play those face down and activate that. Sadly, Blade Knight's effect isn't quite activated because I need to have one or fewer cards, and I do not. It's not less, that should be fewer. Yep. Let's attack recklessly and find out what happens. Oh. Why did I take 200? Because it doubles, yep. Why on earth is he going on the attack? Once per turn when it's... Oh, you can destroy a target. Damn it. 
I think I clicked the wrong thing there. What does this do? Yeah, I right click this instead of left clicking. No, I'd have to tribute, so I don't want to do that. Wait, what? I, I didn't even see him tribute. God, stuff goes so freaking quick. Um, yeah, all right. He's going to destroy it anyway, so I'll tribute uh, Blade Knight to kill off the Stone Dragon. Yes, that one. Kill the Stone Dragon. Bloody hell. You see, you could make drawing automatic. Why do you need to, to, to do that? All right, play a trap. And then uh, the Fish Warrior will attack. Attack. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this doesn't feel as good as Runeterra. This doesn't feel anywhere near as polished as Runeterra. Like it is still, it still has the um, the flare and stuff, but it feels a lot less. <sighs> I polished is the only word I can think of. Like. The fact that both of those were played at once, it, it feels like I'm playing against an AI. The fact that everything goes so quick, it doesn't feel like it's actually intended for you to pay attention to what's happening, if that makes any sense. This is a bizarre deck. Like, it's all really high attack and really low defense, or really high defense and really low attack. Alright, well, I will set her. And I will be reckless again, because that always no, failed me again. Exactly the same trick. Yeah, and he's gonna he destroyed my field spell this time. Uh and he is attacking with three hundred attack. So unless that trap card helps him. Sure, I'll steal your monster, whatever. Very little damage I'm taking, but then I get to keep it. Yep, draw ballista, sure. To be honest, it's not even really worth using uh, spell and trap cards because he's got attack the moon. So instead, I will summon that guy and then uh, just attack him like so. Uh, in face up defense position. Yep, sure. Uh, rock Bombardment, I remember this. You deck to the graveyard. Yeah, I remember that one. Because I did... Uh, what's this? I did at one point run a uh, rock-based deck. That was kind of fun. Yeah, it's Link and Synchro and whatever the hell that is. I don't care. Yep, sure. I have not quite won. But I'll win next turn. Draw a thing, sure, I'll play him. And I don't think he'll be able to weather this. Nope, he has nothing. Victory! And I ended at over 8,000 life points because he stupidly gave me 2,000 right at the beginning of the battle. Monster Reborn. You can special summon, use unexpected die, blah blah blah, attack with mods. Yeah, yeah, that's simple enough. Oh, I can change decks. Okay, yeah, all right. I can select um, Power of the Dragon then. All right, I'll do one battle as with this, and then I'll call it a day. Okay, dragons. Yep, I know what special summons are. Not using that deck. Drew three bloody luster dragons. And what's Kid Kidmodo? Sent to the graveyard, special summon from your hand. Sure. And stamping. Uh, destroy a spell or trap. You bastard! Oh yeah, Marauding Captain. Oh, Marauding Captain was brilliant! If you had two of them on the field, you were bloody unattackable. Discard a card, target one monster on the field, place it on top of the deck. Right, what did they do? Because again, stuff went too fast to even slightly pay attention. How did they have... What the hell? It gains 800 for each face-up monster. You could, fucking hell. That is insane. Alright, Luster Dragon. 
Stamping destruction. To get rid of bloody that. Because that is too powerful. Uh, do I want to use that? No, probably not. Alright, I will attack. So I have to attack Marauding Captain, I believe. Easily smashed it. So he may pull some bullshit out. As this deck seems to be about multiple summons. Oh, goody. Yay! Really glad he got that back. But he's going defensive, so he's on the ropes. Threatening Roar. Cannot declare an attack this turn. That'll be helpful for next turn. Let's get another Luster Dragon. And... Yeah, okay. Discard Kidmodo. So it... It's just a monster. Alright, yep. Yeah. Uh, you can take that back. Oh, uh, yeah, because I don't know what that is, so... I feel a lot safer attacking this. Marauding Captain. Uh, yes. Yes. Die again. Not going to help you in the long run. I know that Yu-Gi-Oh went through a bit of power creep. And I'm really seeing it here because virtually every bloody four star card I'm using here. Um, is he likely to attack? Yeah, yeah he is. Alright, no attack. Yeah, virtually every four star card I'm seeing here is um, like 18 plus, 1800 plus attack, which is very high for back in my day. Back in my day! So this is a replacement for um, fusion monsters, that's cool. Also, I can't beat him. Pisk. Oh goody, he deals differences damage. Well, there is literally nothing I can do here. So I'm better off sticking with the higher one. Uh, sure. Trident Warrior. 100 points, that's not too bad, but still nothing I can do. Why would you not play that first? Because then you would have dealt more damage and been able to... whatever. Oh goody, another useless card. Well, I'm better off playing this? Because, what's this? Why did that say... Total 2,000... What? Total attack on my side of the field? Why would I need to know that? Yeah, I can't beat this Swordmaster at all. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm really glad they're much more powerful now. His deck isn't bullshit at all. No, this is totally balanced and fair. I'm being very bitter in this game. Yeah, I've lost. I throw my hands up and accept defeat. Take me, O oh mighty sword master. I am yours. You have beaten me this day. I asked for the sword master, but whatever. Well, that was awful. I don't know if that's because I was using the dragon deck, but surely, like, if that deck's powerful, then I should be able to try and beat it with any... De I don't know, anyway. I've never been a fan of, like, countering stuff in, in games like this. Like, I figure you should be able to just... Your deck shouldn't have obvious weaknesses that can be exploited by other strategies, you know? You should have a nice, well-rounded... But whatever. I'm I'm clearly very out of this... The, the game of this. Uh, I haven't played properly in a very long time, and even then I don't think I was ever to a competitive level. At one point I was, like, the best player in my school, but that really wasn't saying much. Anyway... This was Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, or Duel, Duel Master Duel? Master of Duels? I don't remember, I can't even remember what this game's called. Master Duel, I checked. So, uh, <laughs> let me know if you want to see more of this. I do have to warn you, I will maintain that I don't care about Synchro and Link and all of that crap. No, it's just, I'm, no, I'm never going to care. But if you want to see me try and muddle my way through anyway, do let me know, and I will do my best. So thank you very much for watching, subscribe for more board games, card games like this, miniatures and TTRPGs, and I will catch you later.